Loyola Marymount University is known as one of the most beautiful campuses in the country. With its palm trees, state-of-the-art facilities, perfect Southern California weather, and a world-class student body, this university is undeniably at the top of the list. However, for one student, LMU is seen in a unique light. Hello, my name is Adrian Vasquez, and I'm a freshman here at LMU. My major is English, and I am visually impaired. I became blind at the age of five in Mexico. I was born there. As a blind college student, there are definitely some, you know, downsides to it. Although, I try my, my best to, you know, put my best foot forward. To, to be honest though, sometimes it is pretty hard. I mean, it's reality in life. It's, it can be hard for anybody and having certain certain disabilities sometimes makes it a little bit more of a struggle. As I moved on through my high school career, I, I began to love to read books, especially listening to the books, which I believe helped me a lot in developing, developing my, my love for English. And that's why I became an English major. Some of the hobbies that I enjoy or that I like to do are among one of my favorites is playing guitar. Music has been a very big part of my life um, ever since I was little. I joined a um, choir in high school and I was in it for four years. I actually got to be part of many concerts in which I, I was a soloist. I really enjoy singing and I, I feel like it's a very big part of my life. As I came into college, um, I tried joining the choir first semester, um, the school choir, but unfortunately um, it was full so I couldn't register for any time. Um, however, um, I joined the church choir um, kind of as a, for, as I waited to enter into the school choir the next semester. And this semester, I, I was able to finally get in. I got a call that there was a blind student or a, a sight impaired student <laughs> who was interested in joining the choir. And my first question is, oh gosh, has he sung in choirs before? And I was assured he had. So he went through the normal audition, didn't you? Yep. In January and came and sang for me and has a beautiful voice. What are the challenges in, in uh, learning the music? Well, <clears throat> obviously I don't have the, the music scores, so I, I don't have the the text there in front of me, everybody mm -hmm. you know, can glance down and see what they are and see the notes and everything. I have to practice and memorize the notes by listening to the people around me and sensing when people are uh, breathing as well. So Adrian is in our class and he is so inspiring. It always amazes me how involved he is, especially in the music department. I just started seeing him around even more recently. Um, he's been getting involved a lot with the choir and I've see that he's been getting involved with like guitar ensembles and stuff and I think that's really awesome that he can still participate in all these things and he's really persevering and going through everything that you know um, college students who aren't visually impaired can go through. Yeah, he he doesn't let anything get in his way. Uh, I've sung with him, you know, with him in choir and he's just always friendly and he never fails to to smile and and just be a great singer and sing with, sing with all of us. It's mm -hmm. it's inspiring and it's we're just blessed to have him. When my parents sometimes ask me, don't you wish you could see, or are you, are you really happy how you are? And honestly, yes, I am. I mean, I've been blind, like I mentioned, since I was five, and I'm 20 now. So most of my life, I've been blind, and I'm used to it, and I'm happy how I am. And if I were to change it, if I would have to, the, the option to change it, I don't, I'm not quite sure if I would take it. Um, I mean, I probably would, but I honestly am happy how I am right now. 